हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग आई वेलकम यू फॉर अवर टूडे ई वी एस वेल क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू लेसन इन ई वी एस वन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स टेल मी वेर डू वी लीव येस वी लीव इन अवर हाउस और यू मे से वी लीव इन कांदिवली येस That too is right. But what is our shelter, children? Yes, our house. Our house is our shelter, and it protects us from the different seasons. That is, from heat of the sun, from heavy rain, from cold, from thieves too, isn't it? So. similarly like us even animals need shelter and how this animals build their shelter about it we are going to study in our today's topic lesson number 3 animal shelters let's start with the children page 15 lesson number 3 animal shelters now here on page 15 can you tell the cat is lying in wait for someone who is that now see children two pictures you have at the top first picture look at that picture so the cat is waiting for someone what do you think who is that yes that is mouse the cat wants to eat that mouse and that is why the cat is waiting near the hole next question what has frightened the crows see in the next picture you will see some crows are there okay and they have made their nest on the tree and down you can see cat so now the question is what has frightened the crows frightened means to scare to get scared okay dar jana so what do you think why these crows are scared yes because of the cat next why are they trying to frighten the cat away now they themselves are scared but they are trying to frighten the cat now why they are trying to frighten the cat children yes to protect their eggs and babies in the nest the cat may eat those babies and even may eat the eggs so that is why the crow the crows are trying to frighten the cat away next can you tell what do birds use to build their nest now see children in lesson 1 our environment we have studied about this do you remember children yes what's what birds used to build their nest children they use cotton then they also use twigs twigs was a new word for you all children you remember a thin branch of the tree then they also use thread isn't it so birds use cotton twigs thread to build their nest next question which animals live in burrows which animals live in burrows children i'll show you some pictures see here you have picture of a mongoose here you have picture of a rat then here you have picture of the snake so these are some animals who live in burrows burrows means you can say like hole okay here you also have rabbit even rabbit 
they also live in burrows next question where do the hens we keep live who builds their shelter now see children this hens they live in chicken coop or you can also call it as hen house see this is a picture of a chicken coop or hen house now who builds their shelter the person who keeps this hens they only build their shelter hence they cannot build on their own next part why do we need houses children what do you think why do we need our house yes because it protects us from different seasons when it is too hot from heat of the sun we are protected in our house then nowadays when it is raining heavily that time we are safe in our house from this rain isn't it then house also protect us protects us from cold and it also protects us from thieves also yes thieves means what children sure what you say robbers isn't it let us see with the help of this pictures see why we need houses because very cold weather when it is too cold we can stay in our house then a house is protecting us from gusty winds gusty winds means when wind comes in a great speed everything is blown away that is called gusty winds then a house also protects us from scorching sun scorching is a new word for you all children scorching means too much heat of the sun which is not bearable yes see so our house is protecting us from this heat of the sun too then from heavy rains also all these things are causing us great discomfort discomfort means what children uncomfortable and our house is protecting us from all these seasons then a house also protects us from thieves see here you can see in this picture robbers or thieves a house is protecting us from them too then you know children some people they live very close to forest and they always have to face the threat of wild animals see this forest in this forest you have wild animals isn't it see here you have picture of a tiger yes so those people who are living close to the forest there they live in their house yes and the house is protecting them from this wild animals too see like this big big forest are there in which different wild animals they live so if the people they are living close to this forest then their house is protecting them from this wild animals too let us read this part children page 15 why do we need houses very cold weather gusty winds scorching sun heavy rains can cause us great discomfort we live in houses to protect ourselves from them a house also protects us from thefts some people live very close to forest they have to face the threat of wild animals a house protects them from the wild animals too now see children on page 15 if you will see this picture that girl tai she has kept her two hands on her ears and that chintu that is the little boy he is sitting in his mother's lap from the picture you can make out that he is scared yes 
Now why they are scared, why that boy is scared and why that girl has kept her hands on the ears. Yes children, yes you can look at the picture and you can make out that it is raining heavily and outside it is lightning and because of it thundering and lightning they are scared. Next, page 16. Like us, do animals also need shelters? Yes, children, what do you think? We need shelter. Yes, our house is our shelter and we are safe in our house. It protects us from different seasons, from thieves. Yes or no, children? So, like us, even animals are living things. So, do they also need shelter? Yes, some animals do. They also need shelter and they build shelters for themselves. Some other animals find shelter in safe places in the environment. Now, see children, in this lesson, we are going to study three groups of animals. The first group is animals who build shelters for themselves means these animals they make their own shelter okay about which we are going to study today then you also have next group of animals that find ready shelters in the surroundings okay and the last group is the domestic animals okay they are useful for us and they don't make their shelter but it is made by a man who keeps them. Okay. So, in these three parts, we are going to study this lesson. Now, before we start with the animals who build shelters for themselves, let us see a new term which is highlighted in yellow color. Shelter. What is shelter, children? A safe place where one is protected from any danger. A place where one is protected from the sun, rain, wind, etc. Any danger means children. I told you people are living near forest. What is the dangerous thing for them? For them? They always have a threat of wild animals. Yes, so they are safe in their house. Then, what else at night if thieves come? Yes, we are safe in our house. Then, our house, which is our shelter, it is giving us protection from the different season also. That is, from sun, rain, wind, 